I'm just a D girl from around the way with a whole lot of shit to say. It's your girl, KD. It's your hostess with the most. This is Kiki. What up, though? It's your boy, DTM. That's Dr. DTM, a.k.a. Coach DTM, man. What's good, mm-hmm. man? Mm-hmm. I'm in this thing, and they didn't want us to come back, but guess what? God did. Oh, I'm about to say, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> that's, that's what I was about to say. And we are back, baby. That's what I was about to say. Now, of course, y'all wasn't left without an episode because we kept y'all going, but it's been a minute since we've seen each other. I so know. we got a lot of catching up to do. So let's start with my left. Kiki, what's going on? Catch Kiki, us up. How you been? Do you love me? Uh-huh. Are you riding? That's right. <laughs> that's not funny. I'm not going to let you stop. Okay. Um. <laughs> Dead. And I feel like they knew that I already. It. I love it here. Right. Okay. I'm going to work on that because I don't know no songs. Okay. Um, I have been booked and busy with these damn kids. Yeah. Football and baseball are so busy right now. Okay. And you My got life. two I'm stars. She got two stars in the yes. building I'm like, Occupying all the time I'm like y'all better make it somewhere That's all I know I got my bins ready I got my house picked out I, just need, me. I just need to know <laughs> Like my pinned all that when, Yeah I just need to know when You know, Busy as y'all got me y'all better, Somebody better make it I know that oh, Man you can say that again What y'all been doing So Katie talk to us What's going on with you What's, what's, what's in your world Catch us up the people is so funny. Uh, I turned my phone off. Uh, <laughs> did we tell them we about to be grandparents? Yeah, yeah, that's all. Oh, uh, we can tell them again. She about to be a grandparent. And it's a boy. We never, we never told them it was a boy. No, no applause for the boy. Yes, yeah, so many boys. Yeah. But I'm happy. It's still applauding. Look, he, he trying to be a smart ass. Applause and got stuck. They did. They, they did. <laughs> That's how you call it. Hey, so we're going to keep going. It's a boy. Uh, it is a boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we can't tell his name until he's born. But he has a really cool name. And what else? What else? Um, the weather season is whooping my ass. Yeah, I've been good for this too. Like, the... Let me tell you, this weekend we did some interesting weddings. Which is always interesting. Yeah, it made good for good podcasts. I was just about to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. love people watching. So I'm sure. Man, this is something I, to watch. Yeah, both so, of them. Both of them. Yeah, yeah. The, the wedding was definitely interesting. But <laughs> on top of that, man, I just want to. I ain't gonna hit the applause button because I don't want to get stuck again. But I, I will say <laughs> that I want y'all out there to uh, help me with the applause because. KD did her first, um, she stepped into her new role, you know what I'm saying, at the DOC, and I ain't talking about Dr. Dre neither, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, uh, the day of coordinator, and she killed it, you know what I mean, okay. she, she did way more than she was supposed to do, but that's what we do at Forever and Beyond, in case y'all didn't know that, man, so... Uh, shout out to her for, for doing her thug doesn't have mm-hmm. me out here taking pictures I'm like look at her <laughs> look at her she's mm-hmm. the bad man yeah. hey. I was going to say that for the other podcast but uh, people who don't follow directions really piss me off oh goodness like grown ups yes. like a kid even though I myself don't have to repeat myself to my kids or my god kids for other people kids because mm-hmm. you don't know how people raise their kids yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying so sometimes you have to reiterate the directions that you gave them mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. grown motherfuckers and when I say grown I mean grown like OG. 30 20 plus grown dang and you man can't call the directions <laughs> the lack of comprehension I'm telling you I know I know I was about as red as that cup <laughs> because I was getting so mad but Still had to stay professional, mm-hmm. so it's like, like I know one time they was asking me a question. I just stared at them for like, I don't know, five minutes. Dang, I just didn't say nothing. It's a long time. I just was staring. <laughs> five minutes is a long That's time. A long... You're staring at somebody. Yes, and no words was coming out of my mouth. Like that'd make me want to fight. Somebody she was, was like, at me and, I, and I asked you a question. <laughs> I swear to God. She was like, I can't face. keep a straight face when I do it. <laughs> I swear though, to God. She was like, somebody looked at me like that at work. I swear I wanted to punch her in her face. 
I swear to God. Man. She was like, I don't understand what the big deal is. If you're here to help, I don't know what the attitude's about. I'm like, it's not my job. I mean, it's my Unless job. They, paid for it. they did. Oh, okay. But it wasn't the bride. It was the bridesmaid. It's just that. Right, bitch. The fuck. The questions wasn't making. This is the type the of questions I was talking about. What foot we supposed to start with? What? Like, I'm sorry, what? How many steps is it from here to there? What? Huh? We gotta walk in a straight line or side by side. <laughs> what part of the song we supposed to start walking on? Oh my goodness. Now, what type of what what part of the song we supposed to start walking on is okay for the first couple to ask? Yeah, but not the third couple. You just keep walking. <laughs> like why? You just keep what? going. The fuck. So we got. Let me just let me let me jump in here too because this oh, was hilarious. So, um, <laughs> oh, I can't make this. Sometimes up. you be like, th- is it worth the money? You know what? No, I ain't gonna do this. My thing is yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> you say that? Yeah, that's a fact. So my thing is this. <laughs> Complaints, and this was probably going to be like my motivational message for the week, but I give it to you now. But complaints does you no good. You already know that. My thing is like, if you can complain and it fix whatever the issue is, mm-hmm. then complain away. Right. But people do. Be, uh, it's hot. Uh, yeah. No. The weather said it. You knew uh, that. Already, when you came right. outside, you knew it was hot. Even when you say it one time, it's okay. But just keep constantly saying change. it throughout the, weather, the day. You say it's hot. It's hot. It's oh hot. I'm so hot. It's sweating. These they they literally. I'll be doing it at work, but they literally in the middle of the ceremony, right? So they all they walk down. They standing there, bride and groom in front of me. They literally took a second to take their shoes off while standing up there. What? To walk back down with your shoes in your hand. And I was just sitting there looking because I was baffled. I was like, "Yikes! What? <laughs> like this is this is next freaking level here." Took their shoes off. Why? Shoes standing, off. standing up next to the bride. Took their shoes off. Why you take your shoes off? Then it was it was unplugged. Why? And for those who don't know, unplugged. Oh, was they like people's hurt. No picture. They had heels on. Yeah. But you can't wait a couple more minutes. Yeah, so it was unplugged, and for the most part, most people was abiding by. First of all, everybody listens to one person. One so person, weird. and guess who the one person was? The mother <gasps> of the groom. The groom. Oh my goodness! Uh, I was, oh no, it get better. He said, "Now he we he stood next to me. She, he like, mom, put your phone, mom." She like she was playing on her she, phone. She like waving, like she was trying to record and all oh. that. Oh, and then um. She took the time out to actually. So they had a runner, and they had their name on their runner. Mm-hmm. The the name was literally right in front of me, the bride and the groom. Mm-hmm. But this was before the bride came down. She literally came up to the altar to record and take a picture of the name in the middle of the ceremony. What I said, this, I said this ain't going nowhere. Right. So you can wait to the end and get the pic if you wanted it that bad. You know what I mean? I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. She She, looked at Keisha and said, what are you doing? She looked at Keisha and said, oh, they didn't mean me. I don't care about y'all. I said, no, ma'am. They meant everyone. Can you put your phone up? She was like, that's my son or something she said I'm like it's in the middle of the ceremony though why would you, you so you won't interrupt the ceremony I was gonna knock it out of she had so many signs up like that it was an unplugged ceremony she wanted absolutely no pictures taken at her ceremony other than the pictures that the photographers, photographers were taking mm. so she had family that couldn't make it so she did do a zoom mm. the mama like tell him to put his iPad up I said he working why 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 are we why you just can't do what they ask? Like, like I don't understand the comprehension. Yeah, you of, already know. I mean, I'm sure they already told you what yeah. they wanted. So why are you going against the grain? I don't understand. And you out of all people, I would be pissed if that was my parent. I'm like, you got you got I'd the parents pissed. doing what they want to do. You got the freaking bridal party complaining about how hot it is. Why would they? First of all, they should have told us they was having this outside before they asked us to be in their wedding. What? Oh, okay, friend. <gasps> What? So inconsiderate. If she would have said it was outside, I would have came, but I probably wouldn't have stood up. What? 
So at what at what point did you find out it was outside? Well, you if, the venue. If they the fuck would have came to the rehearsal, they would have known the shit was outside. <laughs> they, I'm sure they knew before that. I'm though. sure they did too, because I'm sure she talked yeah, about it. Yeah, I'm sure it just wasn't out the blue. Like you know what? Day before the wedding. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have it outside. Fuck it. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I ain't I'm never sure in my I life talk about it because she, uh, the way she got married, that they got, they do have inside and outside options, mm -hmm. but the outside was so pretty. pretty. It was pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah never. And they had that horse and carriage thing yeah, right there. Yeah, I wish they could have utilized like, that yeah. somehow. They did. They took pictures. They in took it? pictures in it. Oh, so okay. they took pictures. Like he was like holding her hand, like so she could like step in and like Cinderella, because yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, it looked like the Cinderella. So yeah, they took a lot of pictures. That's what when I went out there the second time to tell them. Dinner was about to be served. They were That's what they was doing. Day. Okay. He yeah. was trying to make them kiss. Yeah. When I seen that that set up, I was like, oh, they gotta take some pictures. Yeah, there. they did. Mm -hmm. And I wish they would have got some pictures on the stairwell. She I said, he said they was gonna do it after their first dance. Oh, okay. The photographer, but yeah. I mean, it was it was an amazing couple, but it's just like yeah, what you learn is like, like um, mm -hmm. for sure. Everybody don't necessarily be for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People don't know how to put other people yeah, first. Just be quiet and listen. And they <laughs> Or just just care about somebody just else's day. Quiet. Yeah. Close your mouth. The girl like this you know my best friend. Is? I'm like you not acting like it. People don't. I don't think people really understand what you signing up for when you mm -hmm. say I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I want to be a part of your wedding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I think it people, is a lot. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, it I is. think people want to do lot. it, but they don't understand yeah. what they're signing up for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it come down to it. Like even even the daddy was like, man, this has been six months of, of it's a terror lot. on me. It's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. personalities are yeah. long. Yeah. Like it's just so much behind the scenes shit that you just be like, oh my. Now God. I will say, all of her girls, they all been friends since like middle school. Mm -hmm. So it was a good like yeah group blend together. Yeah, but they all had the same like negative comprehension level. Oh, though. you know what yeah. I'm saying? All like negative the girl said. Yeah. We've been we've been knowing each other since high school. No, middle school. She said we've been knowing each other since middle school. I'm like, yeah, it kind of shows. Mm -hmm. She thought I was being a complimentary, but I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was saying like it kind of shows because Your none of y'all fucking comprehend. Yeah. Comprehend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All y'all asked. Listen, I went upstairs when the guys got there. I went upstairs and said, "Can you ladies come downstairs so we could do a quick run through uh, before the ceremony start?" I'm like, you don't have to put your heels on. You could wear your flip flops, whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because she bought them all Nike flip flops. Mm -hmm. So you could keep your slides on. We just gonna do a quick run, run through. through. This girl looked at me and said, "How am I supposed to get downstairs?" What? I'm like your feet. <laughs> Janelle, like Keisha. I'm like, <laughs> what kind of question is that? What though? kind of question is that? I don't know. Somebody gonna carry you, maybe. I ran over. Somebody like, to carry you. Horse and carriage. I mean, clearly. Teleport. The, take the know. take the giant slide down there. Oh please no, <laughs> please no. She not gonna make it. <laughs> take the giant slide. Her. Hair gonna fall up. Everything. It's over. Her. But yeah, that's my rant, y'all. It was, but it was an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Then we had another experience um, at the wedding before, where. <laughs> Um, it was just a lot going on at that. One. What part? What part we want to talk about first? So we could, I guess we just start where they went at the beginning. Yeah, let's start where they didn't. They didn't really uh, give the information to the DJ to what was actually going on until he got there. What? Mm. So he didn't really know the order of the song for real. What? He didn't know that he didn't have electricity because it was outside. Ooh. But they wanted him to because he was doing both. You know what I mean? Like he kept saying like, I normally don't do. The ceremony. I know. I normally only oh, do a reception. The reception. They asked me that, oh. and I was thinking when they said outside that it was gonna be like right out a good half a mile away. What? From, away from the venue spot. Mm -hmm. Same park, but you had to drive like a half a mile through the park to get back to the venue. Oh so they ended up plugging into somebody's vehicle, and halfway through, they left with the key. So when the car cut off. <laughs> No music. <laughs> the music cut off. The power cut off. And now we looking for the person with the key. We can't find nobody with the key for a, a minute. Music for a minute. Yeah. For but how was, long? But the wedding was late. How long? How late was An it? An hour. Yeah. So. Oh, it was behind the hour. Yeah. So, let's, so you know how they play the music while mm -hmm. everybody just gathering. Yeah. So it was that part. So. So let's That's backtrack. The part you need the music though. Yeah, because people get restless. We already yeah. outside. Restless. These babies getting Especially restless. When it's behind. Like we already been here waiting. 
And you gotta think about the people that come early. So this was so the ceremony already started, and this is the reception. That's no, this is the, the, the wedding. The wedding. The wedding. Oh, sheesh. So okay. To backtrack just a little bit, the rehearsal was an hour behind. What? So I didn't expect nothing less for the ceremony. Of course, at this point. But. Oh, that sucks. So. You got experience. Have you ever been a part of not for your? Because I know I put team both for y'all, y'all, but I was there, and I don't remember seeing y'all act like this. But have you ever seen somebody who like maybe tried to abuse their power as of being a bride or a groom? Oh, like not necessarily a groom, because I don't think the groom like a do that. Yeah, so like mm, they okay, had okay. selected a certain area that they wanted to do it in. Only to, uh, baby, that's a good wine. You don't even need the uh, aerator for it. <laughs> Sorry. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a, that's a you top. You still need the aerator. It's red. Um, so they selected the area, but the area that, th- that they selected, they couldn't use because it's a public park. Mm. And people bring their dogs, and all the dogs tend to boo-boo in that one area. Oh, no. So the groom. That's the area that they picked? That's the area that, that, that she wanted to use because of the view. Like it was right off the water, so the view was a little bit be- better that way. Oh my God. But the groom was like, "No, we can't do that, so we're gonna go right here." So we did the rehearsal in a different area, and she was like, "Why we couldn't use that area?" He was, she was like, "He said it's full of boo boo over there," which right. it was. So, so she they, was like, they, they didn't have... go out there before that day. This she, was for the rehearsal. I, this was for the rehearsal. Oh, for the day. rehearsal. So okay. she said, "I'm gonna have so and so come out here and clean a it earlier up. and clean the boo boo okay. up." Mm. I just think that's a hard request to ask for somebody to do. Who doing it? <laughs> nobody, you know what I'm saying? Nobody say, who doing that's that? A hard, so, here's the thing. Well, nobody. Now, I do most things, but Jesus, I don't eat. That's, and nobody I in the wedding. I don't kid stuff. Right. Nobody in the wedding has been in a wedding before, so this mm. is like all new for them. So, they need the rehearsal, right? Right. So, we'd had a rehearsal, and then the day of the location is moved over to the left again mm. and they're not set up anything like they thought it was going to oh, be set up goodness. so like the rehearsal was really almost pointless other than knowing who you was going to work with what, right? right but they was all still kind of lost like oh, where, where to go what to do at this point that's and, the thing though even though it's a public park we all know that public park you gotta if, reserve you have to reserve yeah. you gotta yeah. go to Certain areas wherever you know, if like if it's a state park, you know you got to go to whatever mm-hmm. office is there, mm-hmm. and you got to at reserve. least call and see, call, call reserve, something. Yeah, um, to have a concept for your wedding. That's always big. First, always first come first serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's heavy. What? Even so, if you told me that, I'm definitely still calling to see what's going. Because what the fuck? How, because this is too big to risk that. And yeah, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. And I want to make sure. What if you didn't even my, have a location, and then what? The whole wedding done. So what if the whole park was booked? Like, what are you? You just gonna wait for they to the oh, We had a park. People barbecuing. Everything. So now you getting married in the middle of two barbecues. <gasps> Literally. Oh my. And it, but now I will say, aside from the, the barbecue That's and the people on yes. the side, the barbecue, the dog, the, the dog. freaking people pulling their chairs up, like oh, what in the ghetto? Everybody turned around for the wedding for sure. Wait, wait. Everybody turned around. They started moving the Girls, bench closer. People what? Was, they started moving the bench closer so that they could actually hear and see what was nice. I would give it was them that. Really pretty, it was really pretty. But you could tell. Thing. That's horrible. You could tell that's that. That's planning, though. And you could tell that she asked for the decorations like last yeah. minute. You know what I found out this season? Last minute. You could tell because the decorations didn't match. What? Like they matched each other, but they didn't match the the colors of the, the wedding. Mm. This this season, as opposed to last season, I feel like every almost everybody every wedding we did for the most part stretched their coordinator to the limit. That's always though. And I mean, no, but see, the last season it wasn't as bad. Like this season, I mean, the coordinator was doing nine, ten, eleven jobs. Like we had one, mm-hmm. I think, a couple weeks, maybe three weeks ago, where. She was trying to coordinate. She was trying to decorate. She was mm-hmm. trying. So now, you're not really getting the coordination of it mm-hmm. because you worry about everything you, else. Yeah, you yeah. stressed everywhere. Too many. So Things that was the one thing I picked up. I said, "Man, they gotta, they gotta." Yeah. Yeah, you got it. You, I think as a coordinator, you almost gotta limit yourself. Like I can do this and this, but I can't do all this. Yeah, then, but then you get there and stuff not done. So and that's like, the problem. You know it's saying? like you almost gotta like you don't have to do it, but you're going to do it. Yeah, because yeah, no, no, like I, when I sat down, when I sat down with. 
our bride and said, okay, these are the these are my mm-hmm. this is what I responsibilities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. These, this is what I'm providing yeah. for you. Right. All right, cool. When I got there, it's, it's like, um, can you do this? Can you do that? Yeah. Can you do that? Because no one else was in that place. Exactly. So, so you're not going to be like, oh, no, I'm no, not doing that. Yeah. Like, no, you don't no, want to ruin nobody's wedding. Yeah. I get that. You just don't fill in. Because my, my thing, thing is, I was doing it for free anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. Not this, like this particular time I wasn't, but right. that's the reason why I ended up charging for it. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, I'm doing all this work. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't say that. Uh, DTM said yeah, it. But you do. I mean, yeah. You step in and help a little bit, and then you end up doing everything like yeah. even, even so, so what I had to end up doing um at the last wedding that she uh DOC that was she was like okay I gotta do this I gotta put the flowers down I gotta pull the runner I gotta put the uh, walk the broom down I said okay give me the broom I'm gonna assign that to somebody else mm-hmm. I can't really find nobody for no flowers mm-hmm. but the girl who was helping her with the runner <laughs> when you talk about Comprehension level. Oh lord! Was really low. So I'm, I'm telling them. I said, oh, "Listen, lord. that's why I, I want said, to push her over." I said, "The only like, way, just move. the only I way this that. is going to work is if you hold this string right here. Mm-hmm. If you hold it anywhere else, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, it's going to lock. It's going to yeah. lock up. Mm-hmm. But if you hold the string here, mm-hmm. it'll roll out with no problem. You just want to do what you want to do. She huh? just, she, 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 you just want to do what you want to do. Just hold it. In the she said, "I don't understand why we can't just pull it because we can't, how it works. and we got to hurry up because yeah. she waiting on me to give her the cue to come out. Mm-hmm. Like so." And I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. she already got to pull the runner and put the flower mm-hmm. down, which is kind of backwards. So I was trying to find somebody else that to I could it. assign to that part. Mm-hmm. But it was literally nobody that I could pick. I should have picked the mama because she wanted to be involved a lot. So much. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> should have picked the mama. Like, yo, mom, look, I need you to do Dude. this. Dang. Then the flowers kept blowing away. I said, dog, this you know what? Is you over. know what's crazy? What? Just like this we was over. getting no breeze until, until they rolled that runner up. <gasps> Soon as they rode the runner, the, the breeze runner came, and I was like, "Where did this Where breeze come, come from? from?" I'm like, "I'm not gonna complain because it was, gotta, you know, it helped out." Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Because you know, he got his robe on and stuff. He up there sweating. <laughs> Like, stuff like you. that would make me cry though. If stuff don't go right, you'd be like, oh my But she God. didn't she, she didn't really know. I know. Yeah. I'm just saying if I Until, came out and say anything go off, I'd be like, <laughs> "Well, that's like the wedding the, the day before. They forgot her sand. They forgot her table." They forgot something. They her, her runner. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. Dang. In, in the middle it of the ceremony, me. it was like boom. I said, "What the fuck was that?" She talking about the, the camera fell. I said, "No, the baby fell." <laughs> she but, like, should we stop? He like, I don't know. I told her. I said, "Hold on one second. Let's see if she all right." So we, I'm checking on her. She probably was overheated. Her she was. She, she locked was, her knees. Yeah. Oh. You know, that's something like, I know that because I was in ROTC. Mm. If you lock your knees, you cut off your circulation. Oh. You're going to pass out every time. Okay, okay, okay. Even if you're in, like, in the air conditioner right now where we at. Mm-hmm. If we stand here for A 20 while. minutes yeah. and my legs are locked, I'm going to pass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just how it is. So mm-hmm. you got to, like, and that's why I told him, I said, make sure y'all, like, just keep bending your knees mm-hmm. just to keep that circulation going, going yeah. or you're going to hit that ground. And, yeah. But, you know, she, she got it up. They walked her away, gave her some water. water. She was throwing yeah. up a little bit, but mm-hmm. she was all right. So I'm like, all right, let's that's keep going. Can but you? then she did say she hadn't ate or drank anything all day. See, that's why. It's yeah. 6 o'clock. Yeah, that's why. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm like, so she probably dehydrated. Mm-hmm. She and then she, dehydrated. And she hungry, yeah. you know. It was, it was, it was, a, it was an that's experience. So like every wedding being an experience, I think. Yeah, 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 I love her. It is a lot, though. We have people coming up to us. Preparing for it is a lot. Then the day of, the day before, so it's a lot. We have, yeah. we have people coming up to us like, you, y'all married us. Keisha was like, hey, no, I know I, you. I said, baby, you don't know their name. She was like, I know. But I remember their faces. Mm-mm. Yeah, she remember their faces for sure. Yeah. And it's usually the other way around. Usually I remember the face and, and she, she remember, remember the, the name. name. Yeah. But I remember the name on these. And and she remember she remember the face. Face. I remember the face too. But mm-hmm. but remember, you had met with them like three or four times. Yeah, yeah. I only saw them the one day. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was like, I knew they look. I knew who they were, yeah. but I didn't just. Yeah. The I name. can't remember their name. I never really knew his name. <laughs> so when you told me his name, I was like, oh. I started with his name. She was like, doesn't ring a bell. And then he <laughs> said her name. I'm like, oh, mm. because you gotta think about it. Even though I don't meet them, 99% of my communication is with the bride. Right, right, right. I might have one or two grooms that do everything, but mm-hmm. that's not common. It's not normal. normal. At all. So, they with her... Like, how much we need to pay? With her, I, 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 me and her spoke. Right. The guys don't give a fuck about Just nothing. Give me... Get my what? suit and how much yeah. we need to pay. Yeah. 
how much I need to pay. Yeah. But me and her spoke a lot. So, she was one of those. I know from mine, they forgot to fucking put all the uh, flowers. On, oh, the corsages? On everybody. I wish I had a small wedding anyway. I'm yeah. like, so nobody got, so nobody got flowers on. Oh I yeah, paid, that was on the bar. I don't pay all this money for fucking flowers. I was pissed. I came my life. I remember that. Fuck your flower head. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga stand up there sweating. Sweating. Like, I don't know. In the first thing I, I see, where the fuck is your flower head? I don't know. Man, so and keeping in line with what we were just talking about, since we've been doing these weddings and. Trying to become, if you don't know who Trick Trick is, man, just do your homework. But we did a Trick Trick of ceremonies out here. So, you know, mm-hmm. make, sure, make sure y'all come holler at us. Man. Yeah, I've really been booked, too. This know, year been but, good. So, there's a, I've seen a, I seen a story, and I wanted to bring it to you guys and see if y'all felt like this was too much. I know y'all heard about it. I know Katie for sure heard about it, because she, we were listening to the radio earlier. And I, was like, say, I don't know if listen to the radio or watch TV, so they, probably not. They started tapping on, like, certain situations, like, big news. Mm-hmm. And they would never talk about exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. And Katie was like, oh, yeah, no, that's just this and that. Oh, no, that's I just, said, I bet you they're talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She was oh. like, oh, yeah, they're talking about this and that. Mm-hmm. And when they came back to the, the, the scroll, what they were talking about, mm-hmm. that's exactly what she was right. Right on. I'm like, she will look as well. You can your own that, right? So now you about to be the uh, the liaison for that for the show. But <laughs> so that was a situation where there was a bride and groom. Mm-hmm. And they were getting married. And during the vows, the the but before he said his vows, he wanted to play a video. Oh, oh I sent y'all that. Yeah, and the yeah. video just so happened yeah, yeah, to be yeah. the brother-in-law mm. and the bride sex tape. Yeah, I did. The brother. Yeah. yeah. Well, her brother-in-law, his brother. Yeah, but right? that's what I'm saying. Yeah. His brother and his fiance. Yeah, sex tape. Right? Breaking. So I feel like it's the same one too. Yeah, it is. So um, I'm watching it. So um, in in light of that, do y'all think he went too far? Do y'all think he was on point with it? He was justified? Like I just feel like that think? was a lot. To, that was a lot to do in front of everybody. Like what way would you have done it? Would you have waited to the wedding day? Because he knew. Obviously, he knew before. The it, was yeah. like, it was planned. Yeah, it was planned. It was calculated. Yeah, at that time. First of all, he wanted to embarrass her. Of course, like mm-hmm. not just her, him too. Yeah, the, uh, him too. the brother. Yeah, more so her though, because she. Yeah, this show. Yeah, because I don't. Brides love. This is their day. You know. Yeah, what I mean? he wants to ruin her fucking day. That's like, true. Like what? What best? Way to do it is besides fucking doing this at at your wedding. Like, he don't know brother, fuck. that ain't his wedding. He wasn't brother the best man too. Yeah, but that wasn't his wedding. He don't give a fuck. Right? <laughs> she gave a fuck. That's embarrassing as shit. That's in front of my parents and everybody. Dang. That's you can't let it down. Like you got to hear this forever. I don't even know. Forever. If, forever. I don't even ever. know if they had Nobody's kids, but it's like your like kids, shit. your grandparents, everybody, aunties, uncles. That's why I'm like that. Because was... niggas coming to weddings, weddings and funerals. Niggas coming to. After that, they really coming. They like y'all doing videos. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm there. But I mean, I, I probably wouldn't do that because I couldn't hold it that long. Me, if I know some shit, look, bitch, what the fuck is what's going on here? That's the hard you know thing. Saying? Like so you held it for I don't we don't even know how long you held it for. Right, because I'm sure that didn't happen the night before. Right. right? So man. I'm like, I can't, a, and I'd be pissed. I can't hold man. But you know what's crazy? I don't feel like you can't even how did you even look, look at her at me. still? Yeah, like, how do you look at that person? Did you know what's crazy? I feel like you so gotta go to bed and all of that. Women, that person. Like, I feel like women are a little more stronger. Yeah, oh, no. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. Mm, I think who knows was, how long he knew? Dog, dog was playing tired since then. Since he found out, he was he playing. Like, we shouldn't fall have asleep on the couch. But you know what? You got to, everybody don't live together prior to marriage. That's right? why I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe, or marriage. maybe they didn't live he together. Busy. And he like, oh, I gotta go home. I'm I gotta work double. late. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if they didn't live together, it would be easier to avoid. Because we did the whole like when we had our bachelor, bachelor, and bachelorette party. Like, we're not gonna do nothing before we get married. Like, so oh, did you? Some time. Oh, okay. So maybe they did that. I don't know. We, I don't think we did that. But, nah. But we didn't spend a night. Together. That just make it yeah, like yeah. Yeah. be missing them, like yeah. But remember, so, we didn't spend a night together when we yeah. got married or when we knew our vows. Yeah. We didn't spend mm-hmm. a night together yeah. the night before. Yeah, yeah. So we so, did do that traditional mm-hmm. part, but we was yeah. young too back then. We you talking about sixteen years ago. We was fucking like rabbits. right. <laughs> hey, see, my right. thing is when I look at like a lot of women, especially like the women in my life that that been through stuff like this. 
from the man, not from them. Mm -hmm. It seems like women can hold it a little longer. Okay. Not that you though. Not my sister. Like, no, 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 no. When it's a sister or a brother or any kind of relative, sometimes I, I, you that can might hold it if it's it like a stranger, it and you can hold it, it until so. you, yeah, until you like consume yourself enough to be able to if articulate what video, you're saying. I don't know if I, I don't, hold that. I, it, like I've seen a whole video you fucking somebody else. I don't care who it is. That just made me so hard. And that's the thing. Like, that's so, video. The I, I heard, let me tell you something. I heard a conversation and blew my shit. That's what I'm saying. So imagine seeing it. a video. I, that like, really so much off. worse for me. Because like, you gotta think about it. You can't never. You, you, you can't think I see that. And right. they probably was doing nasty sex too. Mm -hmm. Like they probably, mm -hmm. he probably was fuck her like a slut on the corner. Showing out. She like, he probably was in this bitch like, bitch, you don't even suck my dick. Oh, God, God, I was girl. just gonna say that. <laughs> that nigga probably gave her the, the what's it called? The, the face shoe. Oh my God. The gup. She was in the that God. bitch like, what? Three thousand. Like, bitch, I didn't even know you was a squallower. I thought you fucking. You, oh, oh, so you move so every you time I come. He probably, she was probably taking in that ass and everything. Oh, I get that. <laughs> I get the LDs and you gonna get him that the business. What's the LDs? <laughs> the lazy dicks. Lazy dicks. The LDS. The L lazy dick sucks. That's what you did. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Like you really don't so want to do. How can you hold that for that? That know. listen. Me and Katie. Listen. I don't, know if I could be I don't even have to. If we had little stuff, little issues, right? Mm-hmm. And she'd be like, "What's wrong with you?" And I'd be like, that's what nothing. I said. You can tell when you have yeah. something wrong. And, and, and for me as a man, I'm like, she's like, what's wrong with you? Nothing. You can tell. But let me tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'll be trying to hold stuff in, you but can't you can't though. Yeah, I'll throw the whole vibe off. Yeah, it's off. You, you start acting and then different. You about nothing, like because it's something. Right. Like, stop fucking lying, man. And. Even on like the small stuff, your mind starts to mm -hmm. keep adding. So when it's already big, mm -hmm. can you imagine how much more it's adding to your to the issue? Nigga, if they got kids, he want DNA test for all them niggas. Man, Everybody. I didn't. You didn't, if I'd have seen a video, I want to DNA already, test for my brother at this point. You didn't already marry my man to everything in my head. <laughs> now, now you finna try to be a bigamist and marry me too, but he. Man, everything that happened. Damn. Like y'all didn't already got an apartment together. Y'all got a bank account together. Y'all in a relationship. That's oh, yeah. Thing. Remember that, like, Ray J? Oh, yeah. See how okay, guys okay. do? Listen, like, I'm... Are you liking him? My Bro, mind you is... You call him every day? Pastor's a stripper's don't count. <laughs> my mind is going everywhere. You're a fucking cheater. She said, I never had sex with nobody else, but you be on the phone with him. What? My mind, mind is, go crazy. I got my, my dick sucking in the alley. That don't count. You been cheating a whole relationship, and she dating somebody else because y'all went together. So you liking him? So you calling him every day? So y'all be texting? Not happening. You dating three or four people? She like one. He said one. You're a fucking cheater. Oh, you, <laughs> that nigga. That nigga talked about <laughs> saying <laughs> one. <laughs> Are you like him? Are you liking him? Mm, so All yeah. I did was get my dick sucked in the alley and you liking somebody. I couldn't believe he said, said that. Did he say you guys dick I was like, him? what? That no. nigga said strippers and prostitutes, prostitutes don't, don't count. count. Listen, so they like, don't count. me and Katie were just having this conversation not too long ago. I'm like, he fucking and, nasty. And I'm like, pervert. I said, the difference is Bitch. when men be sleeping with women, it don't have to be There's emotions no emotions. involved, There's right? No emotions, yeah. But when a so woman sleeps with somebody, depending on the woman, so right? They make it better. No, I don't. I'm not saying they make it better, but what, what I'm saying is, I ain't never like nobody. I ain't never like nobody. I ain't never like nobody with, you. Like nobody. Like nobody like with nobody. you. That don't make it better. For us, it don't. It don't make it but better. But that's how they rationalize it. I ain't yeah. never like nobody. It don't matter. You're the only person I, I ain't never talked to nobody on the phone. If every you wasn't ever cheating, I wouldn't never be emotionally attached to nobody else. The fuck that part. You ain't here. That nigga said. You fucking in the alleys, prostitutes and strippers and porno stars. All I did was. That's it. That's all. That's nasty. Why I punch it. you in your that's, face? That's all he doing. That's fucking nasty. All that's I did all was. I ain't oh, never liked all. nobody. <laughs> I wanted to slap him. You ain't hear He said, how I cheat on you and I ain't never liked nobody. I never liked nobody. Like nobody. He said. He like, that's the difference. Most of them girls, I didn't even know their names. Yeah. So that but this is my thing, it. though. So that means I'm married to a whole slut whore. But she knew that before she, she married. She knew that. She so did. that wasn't new. First of all, we all wasn't new. Ain't no way me and my nigga gonna be married together, whatever. He got a whole condo that I can't even go to. And then what you is, walk in and there's strippers and shit there. That <laughs> happened before they got married. First of all, yeah. Yeah, fuck that there's strippers in there. When you walk in, it's a whole fucking stage and That's what I'm saying. You had the whole strip club at the room. house. In his living room. You had the whole strip club at the house. That's before they got married. Exactly. So you already you, knew that. You say you're not selling this? 
Bitch, I'm not marrying you. Wow. Fuck you, mean you're not I selling mean, it. I they got over that. But, but I'm just saying, just why are you not out? selling it, though? That nigga was never going to sell that fucking condo. Hey. He was not going to sell it. Yeah, no intentions on it. Hell no. Mm-mm. But when he got caught, then he was like, Cause yeah, people was wearing her clothes. Did you hear that part? <laughs> But what about you talking about bitches wearing my clothes and my purses? <laughs> that nigga said you worried about clothes and purses and I was on my deathbed. <laughs> Bitch, you had pneumonia. You on your fucking deathbed. Not you saying can't people, die from pneumonia. I, I said, I was say, yeah. not saying that you can't die from pneumonia. Yeah. I do know you can. Yeah. However, he was not terminal. Yeah. He was in the hospital on the breathing treatment because he, he wasn't intubated. He wasn't unconscious. He wasn't in no coma. The nigga just had pneumonia. They say, you ready to come see me when I was on my deathbed. Fuck you. Like, you, 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 wanted, you wanted me to die. What kind of mother don't bring their kids to see their daddy on their deathbed? Nobody. I'm not taking my kids. I'm not taking my kids. I'm feeling so I'm bad, though. Like, why would you, you say that? You ain't about to die. Like, not only that, but it's COVID. Why would you yeah, even that's want them? Like, I'm not even taking my kids I was like, what kind of father want their kids exposed? Because that's the, the times where they get COVID from the hospital. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. So, oh, we sorry, baby. But, uh. Um, punched her parenthood for that. Yeah, that hurt my feelings. I was like, girl, you're a good mother. Fuck him. I would have punched so, him. So, I should have punched him. But so I was going to say, said, what if he got that from, you know, the fire heartbeats? Mm-hmm. So, remember when they first won they first, whatever, what you get from music? A Grammy? A Grammy. Mm-hmm. Remember when they won a Grammy and Duck was like, uh, I just want to thank, no. He, he said somebody once told me that you can't understand real music till you get your heart broke. Mm-hmm. And I just want to thank my uh, beautiful fiance and my brother for showing me what heartbreak really is. Damn. You don't remember that part? Yeah, and I honestly think that it, that, that, that was like way more around. than we know. They actually, so they was messing around, but the night that he followed them to the room, they was breaking it. She was breaking oh, it, was off with it off. Oh. But he had already caught them because. Yeah, that's already too late. Because he had, they had got engaged, and he was like, "You gonna marry my brother?" <gasps> and she was like, "I love him," but you know, he didn't mm-hmm. go up in the room. The bell bop, the bell bell hop ran up to him and was like, "Uh, <laughs> bell, bell, bell bop," and he was like, two brothers in the same day?" Because he saw his fiance go to the hotel, mm. and then remember, uh, yeah, I'm about to watch it. Again. Yeah, yeah, the fire herpes, it was on there, but that's that to me, that was like equivalent mm-hmm. to that because back then it wasn't no videos, right? Mm-hmm. right? But he held it in, didn't say nothing mm-hmm. until they was on that stage, mm-hmm. and he was like, uh, that's when he left. Remember, he left the group, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Kiki just said something that I want to tap into just to see. So, you said if the daddy was sick. You wouldn't take the kids to go see him? I mean, if he was deadly, like, ill, if they would let us. But I'm not, not for pneumonia, if you ain't, like she said, not if you're not about to die. No, I'm not taking my kids. So, to regular sick, no, but like, no. if it's looking like it might if be. If it's that. looking like he, yeah, like she's intubated or something. Yeah, like, you're not, you're not going to make it. Of course, I'm no. going to let them come. Yeah. You know, so y'all could say y'all farewell. Yeah, you or know, whatever. the hospital's different now. They don't even let people go like that anyway. Exactly. Now, so. Unless you're dying. And it's only, they only let one person go. And like, you know how it is now. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I'm not, I know so many people that got COVID from going to the hospitals. My kids got fucking uh, the flu. From going to the hospital. I'm not... No. Oh, yeah, when your I'm granddad not, was sick, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. I ain't about heavy. to do that. No. It's too many germs in the hospital. Not if you not... And they got little not, kids. If they you don't, to die, then... That's different. We got to figure some then, shit out. Yeah. I, but know. they got now, I little... Know if I even want my kid to see you like that anyway, though. That's... Because that's their memory. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, like, didn't I don't I just want say my, this yesterday? I, I don't just want my kids to remember, like, you know, you remember that forever. So... The last memory of the person that you love the most... Then, and it's got to be like, and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't we want just, that for my kids. So. And I know everybody different. This is mm-hmm. what Katie had to tell me yesterday. But mm-hmm. I was just saying yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I was intervening on your thought. Because I get what you were saying. Yeah. But that's not everyone's Maybe it, it'll know. change your thought. But not your thought. But the people who ever thinking differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so yeah. can we can we say this or no? As long as you don't say names, it'll be fine. Okay. So look at me learning. Listen. So... Uh, <laughs> What's your today. thought process on, um, let's say you had a daughter, mm-hmm. and your daughter's dad passed away. Mm-hmm. First off, do you want your daughter to see the dad in the casket? Mm. Is that like a, a, a must? Now, if you're grown, you make your own decision at that point. 
mean, yeah. but Probably. while your while your kids, you still trying to groom them and keep them and protect them and and you know keep them from seeing certain things of that nature, whatever. Hmm, that's a hard one. First of all, it depends on how they look in the casket. You know, everybody don't look the same once mm -hmm. they right. are. You know, what I'm saying the, the in the casket. Yeah. Like sometimes they don't. The makeup not right. They not looking like their self. You know. Right, right. Yeah. Because I know when my cousin passed away, when she was when her mother passed away, she was two years old. They didn't let her see her mother. Well, my because uncle, she was only two. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They were like, we don't. You know, first of all, you're not remember this. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Well, my and uncle so passed away. They were yeah. But that's because he got shot up like 30 So that's what I'm saying. So that's why like, it depends on what they look like and the age of the kid. You know what I'm saying? My kids are older now. So, I mean, I would let them choose to see if they wanted yeah. wanted to go. You Definitely. know what I mean? Yep. But I feel like if they real small, I don't know. I don't know because... Mm. I think I want you to remember them like that. I want you to have your thoughts already. You know, yeah. the memories are the good memories, and not like the that memory. And and I think so. too, like, cause for me, like, uh, one of my, my most traumatizing memories is seeing my uncle Edward in the casket, right? Yeah. right. But nobody even had a mm -hmm. conversation with me yeah. about what death was. Yeah. So I really didn't understand yeah. what you were looking at. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, what was going on? and then when you on? see a dead person yeah. at ten years old, you like. Like, oh. oh, they just sleep. Mm -hmm. You know like, what I'm saying? Yeah. So when they closed the thing with him mm -hmm. in there, yeah. I got the bugging. Like I started screaming, yeah. like because no one sat me down and said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And prior to that, they were saying like, "Oh, he sleep with God." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. if he Perfect sleep with God, and now we here, mm -hmm. and I see him looking sleep, see. Why y'all putting him in this box? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. then I got the bugging. Then we got to the cemetery. I really got the bugging because mm -hmm. the whole time again, I'm not understanding what's happening. Mm -hmm. And then this, then I just look like the crazy person. They mm -hmm. want to take me to the hospital when the whole time a grown up should have had a conversation mm -hmm. with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and mm -hmm. to that point too, that was in the back in the day where grown up didn't believe in having conversations with kids. Like yeah. That. yeah, they definitely they didn't believe they, that they, you know, they had to explain. Yeah. 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 yeah, but they, Us, because they belittle how much you think through you can understand. Yeah, understand. You wouldn't and understood. Feel. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't understood what I was saying. Yeah. yeah, like you wouldn't understood that if you was too little, you wouldn't mm -hmm. understood. Yeah. but I feel like if I wouldn't understood, then you never should have took me there. And that was and the whole thing. That's how it was when I when my mother passed. I didn't want my kids to stay. Yeah. So like y'all. Can see, and I had to have a conversation with uh, Xavier because he was—he's only nine. Yeah. So he was eight, but he don't understand death, you know. Yeah. Right. So I was like, "Yeah, y'all can't stay though, but y'all can see and then go." But yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me ask y'all. That was too hard for him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me ask y'all this right here. So now I feel like there are way more conversations had about it, right? Yeah. Like, like it gotta be. prior to. Yeah, it has to be. You know what I, mean? like I got, feel like because we've been through it though, and I mean, even, so we know like we gotta talk to our people now because we've been through it. Like, like and, you said, you've been through little ones, right? Like, I mean, even from a perspective too, uh, as far as like what you're requesting, when is your time? Mm, like, yeah. we have we have way I more agree. conversations like that now. Oh, right? that's true because because now to, it's like you know that. That's that's gonna happen mm -hmm. eventually. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and, you, happening younger and you don't want nobody scrambling oh, trying yeah. to figure out because you need to remove that stress mm -hmm. from yeah, people yeah. you love. Yep. You know what I'm saying? As much as you can. Yep. So, in light of that, if it, you that's hard to have those conversations though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's almost but you like, know what? You're I'm always, about to die if I talk yeah. about this. You, you know what I'm saying? Like you always have it at a funeral though. Or, or like, not? Or if somebody like, passed. No, my Did mom you? had hers way before. No, 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 no. I mean, like oh. now, like in this day and age, you if you haven't had it, it yeah. Oh, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. haven't had the conversation, you and you go to a funeral, yeah. now you're gonna start. But you don't gotta go to the funeral. You just gotta hear. You just gotta know that oh, somebody such, such passed away. Or, 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 or when something. I go, I won't. Then you start thinking mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, when I go, I won't. But yeah. so, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I feel like majority of the people, like like our close ones that we know, we know what their wishes are when they go. Back in the day, we didn't know, right? So. Yeah. What is the proper thing to do with earn mm -hmm. afterwards if you had no request on what you wanted done? With? That's true. Yeah, what do you do with that? That's true. And the reason why I asked this is because I had a homeboy not too long ago. That's true. Who went to, he met this chick and they got to talking for a minute. He went over and it was, you know, it was, they were finna get the business. He go to the room. And in the room, she got oh, her mama goodness. and her dad oh, my sitting on a dresser in her urn. 
with like some stuff on the wall and all private oh pictures pictures and, oh, and oh, those are shrines like I'm marker off written and all that so he walk in he look he, he, he's a picture and he sent the picture to like a group of, oh of the homie and he like yo I can't even get hard That's on this. That's what I'm saying. It's a turn off immediately. But he like, I need some suggestions on how should I get up out of this. I don't want to be rude, but I can't do nothing in this room. But I feel like they didn't have a conversation on what to do with them. Because no way they would have said that. We need, <laughs> we need your room. I want to watch everything Why that happened. Like, in the living room or something. Like, like, I, I, room. Yeah, in the living room. Like, so I, I always wanted to know this question. Like, what do you do? Oh, you know no. what I mean? What would y'all? What would? Because I, I know. and I know it like it would be in my bedroom. It would be in the living room for sure. I for sure it would be in the common area, not the living room or the kitchen. Like because I know, you know, I have to keep hers in the in the closet. Yeah, I know. Shut door shut on. So I don't know if I would keep it. In the closet. And it's 2022, so in the bag. I'm sure that um, people are. You know, they turn it into chain, uh, yeah. diamond, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I've seen this uh, thing where you could, uh, some tattoo artists will, if you bring like a little um, of the ashes to the tattoo appointment, mm -hmm. they'll dip the ink in there. Oh. And do it like so, like, like the ashes, ashes will be in, in the tattoo. Oh. That, that's dope. You might, that's different. You might catch something, but that's dope. How you gonna catch something? I don't know. It don't, just don't sound sanitary. Oh, yeah. It sounds like some type of fiction waiting to happen. Yeah, you definitely, <laughs> definitely gonna get gang green or something, no, but it do huh? look sweet, though. They gonna, like, the thought it's, process is sweet, but they're like, oh, KD actually, leg fell off, but that tattoo no. on that little bit good. It's actually a podcast <laughs> that we listen to. She's the one who said mm. she has her aunt signature on her ankle, mm. but she took some of that her, her ashes and he, you know, dipped it and gave her. I mean, gave uh, yeah, because I would definitely give her again. <laughs> I would definitely. Uh, I, 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 I would definitely just say I did. Like, <laughs> I, yo, this set right here. This, this, this from his ashes right here. Now we gonna like, be a Judge Baptist type of. Yeah, I don't know. This, this my granddaddy's ashes right judge. here. No, you're not a judge. Maybe say I, I ain't no judge. I mean, okay, you're not a fish. Way, that's how and he said, "I'm way too fly to be a judge." No, he said, "I'm way too fly to wear that Way too fly to wear that robe. Way too fly to wear that robe. You also didn't go to school, so that's right. Like, you're that, not. That's the bigger that part. part. That's the bigger part. They, like, they're making their money like that. Fly to wear a robe. Money. Money. So his mic, fourteen karat gold. Don't play with my boy. <laughs> so another, <laughs> another. Uh, I forgot about him. <laughs> right. But I do think like it should be in like a common area because like my dad yeah. wanted to be cremated, right? Mm -hmm. But he ain't going in my room. Right. Yeah, I, I feel like that should be an uh, extra part of the conversation. Like, cremate me and do this. Well, like KD, like, KD, well, KD had a, a, a proper, you know, she had a full request. She was like, do this. Ever I want to do this. Ever since forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to do X, Y, and Z. This yeah. is what I want. So, I like, like that. I like when people be. But like my dad was like, I don't care plan. what you do with it. After the afterwards, people say that though. Yeah. yeah so I, I got a plan. Yeah. So it's gonna be straight, like. Mm -hmm. But he ain't about to be on, on my dresser. Definitely. Yeah. Like being in the room. Uh -huh. like being in the room that's my whole thing. Was like, mm -hmm. I I always feel like, and I know some people don't really agree with me when I say this, but I feel like the cemetery oh is the God. biggest scam. It is all that in the money. World, you pay all this money, and I'm just seeing myself. I I'm like. Oh first of all, God. you pay like first twenty thousand. Kiki saw it better yeah. even than us. Yeah. I'm like, for her daddy to pay for some shit. Yes, years ago. And still and got to come. Still then, but still then when it comes time to use what I paid for, yeah. you like, oh, another fifteen. Yesterday price. Yeah. It's, it's not today's today price. price. Yep. <laughs> they like, oh, I did. Oh, oh no, that didn't include digging the grave though. I said, what the fuck? They didn't include then. What was the ten thousand he paid for? But this is my thing though. Let me get the shovels because I'm not doing myself. This is my thing though. Some things you buy. It's crazy. Shit gotta be included, right? But you know what? Like, we're not finna buy a car with no steering wheel. But you know what? You gotta read the fine print now. That's yeah. true. You, because it was in there. You know we looked. Oh, yeah, I know. So, you. I'm like, it was in the fine print. They but just I'm, didn't know. You yeah. know what I'm just saying? Like, so, he paid the 2000 thinking they were straight. And that was back in the and day. Where you didn't even really understand what fine yeah. print was. You yeah, know, that's like, true. It was. That's, that's when they started that. My dad was more like, let's pay this shit. He was getting over it. He yeah, just yeah. paid for everything. Got it. Thought it was straight, but yeah, no. But this one thing, though, it's like off a long time ago. Like, it's like you, you're not gonna buy a car that don't have a steering wheel, right? Like, 
Like you're not gonna buy like a brush with no teeth in it. I can't believe. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just certain certain things you feel like Automatic. supposed to come to you. You know what I mean? Like I'm not I'm not gonna buy a sink that don't that water can't come out of. I'm like wow. And that was my so whole why would thing. I buy a grave not knowing, not thinking that it include being duck? I was like, what the fuck? And that was my whole so. And That's crazy. So now we're hearing about what was the ten thousand for? I'm just confused. Just the plot, just the land, that area. Yeah. And now we're hearing about people that that probably ain't even the land that was back then, right? Because she got to reconsider if I want to even be buried because this is too much. You know what? I I I never considered it. I've never wanted to be buried ever since like forever. I've always said I want to be cremated. Yeah. But nowadays, motherfucker, you digging up graves and it's trash in the. Oh, kind of stuff. That was my thing. So like you digging them up, and the person that you digging up is not there. Or right? if it's the, somebody, somebody on top of somebody, or somebody, somebody yeah, on top of somebody else. Yeah. You never know down. what they doing. Like, and, I, and that's what I told Katie. I tell I I know some of these cemeteries they expand, but a lot of them don't. You never and they, know. I've never heard one say we over capacity ever. So what they never. Doing? He did right. Yeah. He did so say that. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I don't want my loved ones wasting their time. Yeah. Like, you, their over, you over there, you the over there, and the, pulling your tits I'm out for somebody there. else, daddy. I'm like, what? I'm not there. <laughs> if I have it, not just kind my, of. You think my spirit gonna be like, yeah, my body here, so I'm gonna stay. I'd rather be homeless on the street and chill if I had to do that until <laughs> I go to heaven, whatever the case may be. I can't believe it that much. Like, like I'm really shocked. Like, hey, nah, and both of my parents want to be buried, and I'm like. The biggest scam. Oh, yeah, because they want to be buried next to each other, mm-hmm. right? And that's, yep, a, yeah. Yeah, that's yep. a, to me, I want to. That's I'm so try to, much money. But my whole family there, so of course they like. I'm, I'm trying to talk KD into being cremated, <laughs> and then, like, if she go before me, then do something with it. She want to go to the. Then put it. Mm-hmm. I don't mind going wherever she want to go. Put it there. Oh, if if you're going to do something, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Aww, but yeah, yeah. the cemetery thing, man, it's, it's the biggest scam. It is. Ever, and I've, 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 I most of my people Bologna. have been cremated on my mom's side. So I didn't know exactly how much it cost. Like my whole oh, dad's yeah. family are there, but I never helped pay or like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't know much about it. But having to do my mom's, I was like, baby. Man. <laughs> Even like the caskets, how much they got. Everything is so expensive. Let me tell you something. Like, so my cousin was cremated, right? Mm-hmm. He was a big nigga. Mm-hmm. So they had to get a custom made casket for the viewing, mm. which cost damn near four grand. Sheesh. Then what they did the casket afterwards? Cremated. Put it back in the They rented it. So they rented it. <laughs> for four thousand? Yeah, but it had to be custom made though. Oh, because that so ain't big. Yeah, so they didn't have his okay. size casket like Oh my gosh. So but, what they did right. You bet, I'm taking that home. Fuck you mean. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you talking about. What the fuck you gonna do with it? I don't know, but what the fuck they gonna do with it? They I gonna, paid for it. They gonna save it so when the next people come So do I get my four thousand back? No, no, that was rental. That was the rental? Because to buy it it would have been I think he said ten. That's what they're gonna what? do. What? They they gonna put it in the yeah. back I'm for the next big home. nigga. I said that to pretend like they don't have it, and that they gonna make custom, them make, custom it make it again, so they can yeah. make them pay an extra four thousand. Oh, they might do that. Oh, that's what they did. Oh, maybe that is what they did. But like, yeah, they they thought I said when they saw his body, they said, "Oh no, we don't have this size." Yeah, hey, it's like, a, what it's, the fuck you mean you got this size? It's a crock baloney. It is bullshit. Listen, they they you know what we should do. What's that? Open a funeral home. Yes. I be, yes. watch, I be watching the one funeral thing yes. on Netflix. Like, that's I swear to God, that's one. a lot of fucking money. People, like, people yeah. die every you day. You never going out of business. Yeah. Never. Okay? Yeah. Never. As long as you follow the guideline. Yeah, we can't have dead bodies in the ceiling. We need to consider but, that. And, and so, like, my aunt passed away. And they cremated her. It's been almost a year. And it's been almost a year. And she's still at the cemetery, at the funeral home. What? Because for I guess the person who was in charge will remain, remain nameless. Did I said pay? What? But my thing is With her money though. She had life insurance. <gasps> but you already did it. Oh my god. So what you you might what you what know, you do with the money? What you do with the ashes? What you Right. What you do with the ashes? Right. You, oh, are you really right. just gonna hold on to the ashes? So where the ashes at? And it's even still, if you, it's supposed to still be at the funeral home. Even so if you just, give it to me now, my mind is saying, nigga, you didn't keep these ashes like this for right. a whole year. Maybe they in the closet or something. They got this is stolen. cigarette box. I'm about to say it might not be right. the ashes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is this is the the <laughs> bottom part of the chicken grease that you didn't drained out and put in it. This is not it. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Ain't the bottom no, part chicken. That'd be the good part. Go no, what? <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me find out. <laughs> let me find out. I don't even eat fried chicken like that. All right, so uh, y'all yeah, just blew my mind with oh that. Another God. another main That's topic insane. that I want to ask y'all about before we I'm get through sleep. is uh, <laughs> still want that the best part. How does how does this work? Who walk around with chicken? This this your auntie? That's nasty. <laughs> about, I knew she was a chicken. <laughs> Who she taste? She look like she tastes good. She look like you know. <laughs> T smell good. <laughs> T smell good. T smell real good. No, okay, T-T moving along. T T making me hungry. Oh, uh, moving along, so, please. Um, I can't all right, so tell me, what's what's your thoughts on this situation here, man? And I'm gonna flip it because y'all women and and, it, and I don't know if women necessarily mm-hmm. in a relationship, mm-hmm. not married, mm-hmm. but a relationship, right? And for my birthday, we in a relationship and you buy me something big, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Expensive. Mm-hmm. This nigga still in my house. And uh, when you break up, mm-hmm. do you, first off, I want to make sure I test the point. First off, do you get, do you take it back? Mm-mm. Is it something like, so to be more specific, you didn't bought this person a car. Mm-hmm. If it's leased, who take over the notes? When oh, we break hard. up, mm. like I've been paying it when we were together, but now we're gonna break up, and I'm giving you the option: either you can pay these notes, or, you. or they can come take the way back. Yeah, either no, either you're gonna get it put in your name, or I'm taking it back. Yeah, you gotta get it put in your name at this point. You ain't standing my name. But and that's a good question. I wonder because I I don't trust you. When we break up, name, but I guess it depends on how you break up and how shit work out, though. You know what I'm saying? Because all breakups not bad breakups. But right, if it's sometimes a bad, they amicable. Yeah. Right. If it's a bad breakup, yeah. If you gonna get this put in my name, I'm taking my car back. Unless we rich. Now with the rich people, when they be doing that, I don't like when they do that. So if they rich, you got all this money. Just let her. You bought the car for her. Let her keep the car. The fuck. So you want? So if they rich, you think they still pay the lease on it, or they should have well, got the lease in the, the time beginning? They pay the shit off. If they're that rich, part, that's what. That ain't that what I said? So if, if I get a lease, rich, do that mean I don't necessarily know if this is gonna go that far? Is that like a sign? Well, some people lease that because like that's just what they do, though. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't buy. Everybody don't <laughs> if, the, if, the, if, if you buy you a lease as a gift, is that like a prenup? You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I'm here while I'm here, but if things go sour. No, because it's still your credit, so you don't want to fuck your credit up. At the end of the day, like, I don't trust people with my credit, so. But, and then, too, you got to think about this. Like, if, if I gift you something that I'm financing... It's not as easy to just put it in your yeah. name. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get financed for something I got financed for, you might not get approved for the yeah. same appraisal rate. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? You so might not be able to get it in your name. It's I not as it. easy as like... So guess who's taking it back? No. It's then it's good. not really a gift. You just was brawling it to exactly. me. It's but that's my thing, though. Exactly. But that's my thing, though. Exactly. You can send it to me. Or I but that's my <laughs> thing. Don't give me a fucking bill. Don't give me something I got to pay for. That's why I'm taking it back. But you but don't I, look at it like that if we're together because you know I'm taking care of it while we're together I anyway. I never had that issue, so uh, that's difficult. I never even thought about it. Yeah, hey, because you're not looking at it at the look, bill when I give it to you. So I don't, I ain't yeah. never had like a short, because at least it's only like, what, two, two three years? years? <laughs> So that's and, for sure. Bitch, bitch, we ain't making 48 years. No but here's the thing. We like could have been together so. four years, five years, and then in the fifth year, I got you this, and then something didn't happen. Something went wrong, and now it's like, nah, I can't. I'm out. But my thing is, if you gift, if you saying this is yours, it should already be paid for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't feel like, but you know what? I'm not saying if you're like, married. I'm talking about boyfriend, yeah, girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like it really ain't, it's still in my name, right? So it's in my name from the beginning. So I don't feel like it's a gift. I just feel like you using it until, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like it's a gift. Now, if it's a gift, then you're going to just keep paying the card note. Because here's yeah. the thing. That ain't really a gift. It's like we together, This you use this one. Yeah. If I'm, you know what I'm saying? If I'm leasing mine. It's not like a gift. Like, if I put a bow on it, bitch, it's a gift. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. that, that's like, what I'm saying. It should be, it should be in like, my name. Yeah. It should be in my name, and it should be paid for. It. Yeah. But here's the thing. Like, if I'm leasing my car. Mm-hmm. And I buy you a car too. Chances are I'm gonna lease yours too. But no matter how rich I am, like if this is what I do. But what we saying is yeah. we're not saying it's yours to drive. Yeah, you use type this shit. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? So, like, so when we break up, you're supposed to get back to me, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Because that's not like a watch or like, you know what I'm saying? Something else. Yeah. Jury, I you think, might be a little different. Even though they be leasing them boys too, but jury might be <laughs> jury might be a little different. We're you know not going to after pay this Rolex. <laughs> I'm just saying. But that's almost like an engagement ring, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to give the engagement ring back yeah. if it doesn't work out. That's, that's a fact. You know what I mean? To, yeah. I don't yeah. care how much it costs, bitch. I'm still paying for this engagement ring. We yeah. didn't work out. I need it back because we didn't get married. It was a promise until we right. got married. That's right. true. And, and that it didn't happen. Through. So yeah. I'm going to need that shit back. That's, yeah. a, that's a fact. I mean, that's true. Mm hmm. A yeah, car is big. Know. That's almost. Oh, that's even more though. Shit, cars even more than the rings. Hell sometimes. yeah, because they oh. be five hundred thousand dollar cars. But shit, they be having million dollar rings on. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So, so no, these kind of cars that they get. It could be either way. It could be either way. Oh, right. It could be either way. So it's almost the same. I'm gonna need that shit back. All right, yeah, so. I, I don't know. I just feel like if, if you like literally like gifted it to me, it should be in my name and it should be paid off. Right. Like don't because I'm, I'm a firm believer and don't gift me a bill, bitch. I definitely <laughs> don't want a bill. The fuck? I definitely don't. No, want I, because my thing is like, because for real, like you about to go buy me something, right? Mm -hmm. Now you about to give me this thing that's gonna cost me five, six hundred dollars a month. How you mm -hmm. know I got that? But even mm -hmm. even if I buy you a house, you still got a bill. Baby, them things be paid for. No, no, no. I'm talking about if you buy a house, you still oh, got taxes. Oh, you talking about like the taxes and, and stuff? Yeah. You yeah. still got a bill. So, depending on where you are, them taxes you ain't can hit you for a Yeah, can hit you for I mean, that's rip. true, too. Yeah, but, but you got to think about it. A lot of times, they just get them the land, and then you do what you want to do with it. Build a house, build a business, build a you whatever. You got to pay taxes yeah, on it. Yeah. Like, and depend, that's what I'm saying. Depending on the yeah. area, if I'm rich, I'm not going to buy you a building or a house or anything right. that I can be with. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So if I'm already I'm already paid, so we finna go to Bloomfield, Farmington, we finna go oh, out yeah, in, a, yeah. in an I area where yeah. for one you say for two is it's a, yeah, yeah, them taxes gonna rub you. That ain't much on this house because this is I mean this was like one fifty, but you gotta think about the houses that be like a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. You know what so I'm saying? Taxes it's, it's, is like fucking ten thousand a year. So technically you Just don't have taxes. a you don't have a monthly. I mean, you should have a monthly bill if you if you needed to break it down monthly like that. But you don't rich have rent. Rich people don't do that though. I'm sure. Yeah, rich people don't. They yeah, they probably pay them bitches up for mm -hmm. several years. Or they go to jail What's for <laughs> tax evasion because they ain't been paying that shit. Or they don't pay nothing. Or they get smart like the homie Trump did. So mm -hmm. oh my yeah. god, here you go with this. I'm just saying. People, them them celebrities and shit.